This year is being given a few days before Pesach, Tafshin Pei, 2020, and we dedicate the learning for a complete refuat hanefesh, refuat haguf, for all those that need it, Bezrat Hashem. During the time of the Ben Ishchai, there was a plague in a certain place, and the Ben Ishchai saw the angel, and the angel said, no, no, don't worry, I'm only going to take 5,000 lives, not more. And in the end, 15,000 people died. So he asked the angel afterwards, you lied, you said 5,000. He said, I didn't lie, I only took 5,000. The other 10,000 died from fear. And now I'll tell you an incredible story that Rav Rosenfeld, Rav Shalom, told us. The Rambam, during his time, there were a lot of heretics. And the Rambam was beloved by the Sultan. The Sultan saw his wisdom in every area, in medicine, everything. And then one of these guys tried as much as he could to make the Rambam look bad and everything. Until finally the guy said, let's have a showdown. Let's see who's really more powerful, who, who's smarter, who's greater, me or the Rambam. So the Sultan said, you got it. So he said, okay, I'm going to prepare a potion of poison, a certain kind of poison, that if the Rambam is such a big doctor, he's so smart, let's see if he can take this poison and, and live. And then if he does, then he gets to prepare a poison for me. They asked the Rambam and he said, I agree, no problem. And they had like a few weeks to prepare. So the Rambam, using all of his knowledge, prepared an antidote. And he told his student that as soon as he drinks that thing that the other guy gives him, the student should grab him immediately and take him away and give him this antidote. And this will be able to knock out any deadly powers of whatever poison they give him to drink. And sure enough, that's what happened. And the next day, the Rambam comes back and the Sultan sees him and this other guy sees him. He can't believe it. He gave him enough poison to kill an elephant. How could he, and they saw him drink it. How could he possibly survive? And the Rambam came in with a box. And the Rambam says, now it's my turn. And the guy is terrified. And the Sultan has his guards there. The guy can't run away. And the Rambam starts unpacking the box. And he takes off one layer of wrapping slowly, very slowly. And then he takes off another layer and he does this slowly. And the guy is getting into more panic every layer of wrapping until the Rambam takes out a small glass with white liquid, like, like vodka. And the Rambam says, this is it. Let's see if he can drink this and survive. He drinks half a cup and he drops dead. The Rambam takes the cup and says to the Sultan, now you drink. And the Sultan said, what are you, crazy with it? He says, this is water. It's pure water. I'll show you. And the Rambam drinks it. He says, then how did the guy... He died from fright. He died from terror and fear. So a person has to be extremely careful to have Yirat Shamayim and not Yirot Nefulot. Fear and respect for Hashem Torah and I fear punishment, but not in a way that it's going to kill me. There's a Pasuk, Yirat Hashem Tosiv Chaim. Fear of Hashem adds life. The wrong kinds of fear shorten a person's life or it can kill him. And Yira Digdusha, when I have fear, Shabbat is coming and I have respect for Shabbat. I'm not going to put on my weekday clothes. I'm going to get dressed for Shabbat because I have tremendous respect for Shabbat. I'm not going to eat my weekday. I'm eating special food, Shabbat food. That Yira adds life. All the best. All the best. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you.